The Instinct 3 has finally been spotted in the wild. We had some very speculative leaks from the long-awaited follow-up to the Instinct line back in July, and things have been rather quiet since then. And I even noted a couple weeks back that it's been suspiciously quiet given the expected timeline of the new model's arrival. Well, just a few days ago, good old Garmin themselves started to leak the model out in the wild for us. The international branches of Garmin sites are leaking like sieves, so let's hit it all. These images come from gadgetsandwearables.com, which is a great source for fitness wearable news. On the Hungarian Garmin site, we see an ad headline or a search result that translates to start the new year with a new watch, monitoring your health with care all day, Garmin Instinct 3. I'm assuming there are no images associated with this page, so the search result pulled a random thumbnail maybe, but it shows someone with a watch that is definitely not an Instinct inserting wired headphones. But back to the text though, this would strongly indicate a very early 2025 launch for the watch, most likely in the second half of January or maybe like the second week after CES though, which is the time that Garmin has traditionally launched new models. So if you have a good idea about when the watch is coming, how about confirming some of the watch functions? Well, thanks to Garmin Peru, yes, more Garmin site leaks, we know at least one confirmed feature. The Instinct 3 was listed on their list of Garmin Pay supported devices. So this would confirm that the watch will once again have NFC for payments. Now this was of course on the Instinct 2, it's not a new feature, but it's just another confirmed sighting of the Instinct 3 out in the wild. Oh and it lists both a standard and solar version, so that's another box check by confirming some model variants. We kind of all knew a solar was coming, but now we know for sure. So how about a new feature though? Well, as first reported by the 5K runner, Garmin is going to be adding a sports profile for rucking in the very near future. Now rucking, or basically walking with a weighted backpack or ruck sack, could potentially be debuting on the Instinct 3. So what about the size of the watch? Well, Garmin Spain, and no, you can't make this stuff up. They, they had it live on their site for a short while that the watch will be 45 millimeters in size, but it was pulled down. I don't have a screenshot of that one, but of course that's just the standard size of the Instinct with the S coming in at the 40 millimeter size. And in the past, the X has been in at the 50 millimeter size. So what other expectations can we have for the new Instinct? Well, I would say one given is that the Gen 5 Elevate sensor will be there. Most likely dual band GPS and SAT IQ will also be present. Uh, another likely inclusion is the improved solar lens technology, which was recently used on the Phoenix 8 and Enduro 3, and perhaps a slightly larger display similar to the small bumps found in the Phoenix 8 lineup. What else do you think would or should be included with the new Instinct? Be sure to let me know in the comments below. Now it looks like the window for the new releases has now closed for the 24 calendar year. I thought there was a chance the Tactics 8 could squeeze in before the holiday season, but holidays are in full swing now, so we're very likely to have just over a month before things start to ramp up again with the Instinct 3, and then likely the Tactics 8 as well, leading the way in the new year. Then there are the confirmed models of the Phoenix 8 Pro and Phoenix 8 Micro LED, which are rumored to be coming sooner than you may think in possibly the second or third quarter of the year. Not to mention, we're likely due for some new Forerunner models in the first half of the year as well. So what do you think? Are you pumped for the Instinct 3? Are you waiting on one of the other five models I just mentioned that's likely to be dropped in early 2025? Let's hear it in the comments. Oh, and this is the end, so if you're here, you probably like this kind of content, so be sure to throw a thumbs up to show some love, subscribe so you don't miss out on new videos. I've got a ton of videos I'm working on for you. I'm Dave, and this is Dave Does Fitness. Have an awesome day, and stay fit.